Hi everyone, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have created a simple Spring Boot application and we have built a simple REST API. In this lecture, we are going to create Docker file and will define all the instructions or commands to build the Docker image. All right. So if you go to browser and just search for Docker file and hit enter and go ahead and click on first link it will navigate to the official docker website and if you want to know more about docker file you can go ahead and check out this documentation over here okay so docker can build images automatically by reading the instructions from docker file a docker file is a text document that contains all the commands a user could call on the command line to assemble an image it means that the docker file is nothing but a text file it contains all the commands or instructions required to build a docker image okay and the docker file name should be same as docker file okay next let's go ahead and let's create a docker file in our spring boot application and let's define all the instructions so let me go to include idea over here well before creating a docker file let's go ahead and let's maven build our spring boot application we'll go to maven section over here and go to project and go to lifecycle and here just choose clean and package and go ahead and click on this run maven build icon over here so this will maven build our spring boot application and there we go build success and if you go to target folder within a target folder spring boot docker demo jar, jar file is created okay next we are good to create a docker file so go to spring boot project to root directory over here and here right click new and then choose file and let's give file name as docker file and make sure that the file name should be same okay and this d should be in uppercase next within this docker file let's go ahead and let's define the instructions well let's begin with from well remember the docker file always starts with from instruction so we use from instruction to define the base image or a parent image for this image. Well, basically we can create a Docker image from another image which is available in a Docker hub. For example, if you go to browser in a new tab, just search for Docker hub and go to Docker hub website over here and just search for Java and hit enter and just scroll down and here you can see java docker official image so go ahead and click on this so this will navigate to the open jdk docker official image so if you can notice here deprecation notice well open jdk is deprecated and they are recommending to use these you know alternative official docker images well we are going to use eclipse temurine as a alternative official docker image so go ahead and click on this eclipse temurine over here and just copy this docker image name and go to our project and go to docker file and after from just paste it and let's define the tag that is 17 so this will provide basically a java 17 okay great so remember the docker file always starts with from instruction and we use from instruction to define the base image or a parent image okay next let's go ahead and let's define the metadata well in order to define the metadata we can use a label instruction and then we can use its attribute that is maintainer equal to and then we can define the email id for example let's say java guides dot net at the rate gmail.com next let's create a working directory in a container for that let's use work directory instruction over here and then let's define the directory name let's give directory name as a slash app well whenever we run the container then app directory will be created in a container next let's use copy instruction to copy source file from our system into a destination in a container for example we are going to copy the spring boot docker demo jar file into a container for example copy and then let's define the source source here is target slash spring boot docker demo jar file so basically we are going to copy this jar file from our project into the app folder in a container for example if you look at the location of jar file we have spring boot project within that we have target folder within that we have spring boot docker demo jar file right 
so we are going to basically copy this jar file from our project into the app folder in a container okay next the destination should be slash app and then within this app directory we are going to copy the jar file and let's use jar file name something like spring boot docker demo jar well once we copy the jar file in a docker container next we need to start the jar file right for that we need to have a entry instruction over here and then within a double square brackets we need to define the command java and then second argument hyphen jar and then third argument the name of the jar file that is spring boot docker demo dot jar so let me copy this and paste it over here okay so this is how we define the entry point to run the jar file now we have created a docker file and we have defined all the instructions or commands to build the docker image in next lecture we will see how to build a docker image from this docker file all right great i will see you in the next lecture